Ameriglide has become the recognized leader in stair lifts because they make them from top quality materials and design them to be incredibly easy to install. For installation, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a 3 8 open end wrench, a 7 16 open end wrench, a 9 16 open end wrench, a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, and a drill with a 3 8 socket on an 8 inch extension. Your Ameriglide stair lift will come in three boxes. The seat box weighs 38 pounds, the drive unit box weighs 115 pounds, and the track box weighs from 40 to 80 pounds, depending on the track length. Be sure to examine each box and report any damage to your freight carrier immediately. Some of the boxes are very heavy, so use a dolly or get assistance in carrying the boxes inside to avoid injury. Prior to installing the track, carry the seat box and the drive unit box to the top of your stairs and leave them aside. Remove the instruction manual from the drive unit box. Open the track box and remove the track, track brackets, and the small parts package. Open the small parts package and you'll find the tracket bracket bolts, wood screws, two self-drilling screws, and a call control extension cord and bracket. Identify the bottom track section. It will have a metal end plate on one end. Lay it on the stairs with the metal end plate at the bottom of the stairs. Temporarily set something under the bottom of the track to raise it half an inch to three quarters of an inch. This will prevent the track from hitting the floor later when the track brackets are tightened. Use the track bracket bolts to fasten the brackets to the nuts in the track channel. This is much easier with the track placed away from the wall. You can easily slide the track against the wall later. The splice bars are used to connect the track sections. Loosen the set screws with your Allen wrench and pull the splice bar out halfway and then retighten it to hold it in place. Carefully slide the middle track section into the lower track section and tighten the splice bar screws to lock the tracks together. Once the tracks are locked together, Attach two sets of track brackets, one above and one below, where the tracks are spliced. 
do not remove the foam packing from the nuts inside the track. You can now slide the track against the wall. The brackets are designed to position the track two inches from the wall. However, if your lift has been ordered with the optional wide seat, the track should be positioned three and a half inches from the wall or obstruction. Next, you'll install the lower call control wire. It goes on the wall side of the track, on the second nut from the bottom, just above the bottom track bracket. Route the wire through the top track channel on the wall side of the track. Tuck the wire underneath the track out of the way. You'll finish routing the call control wire after the top track section is in place. Now it's time to install the unit in upper track section. Slide the upper track section to the top of the stairs and splice it to your track like you did before with the previous track sections. Make sure you tighten the set screws. Also, make sure to remove the packing bracket and discard it before attempting to operate the lift. Attach the track brackets to the side of the top track section and hand tighten. 